Welcome to very short highlights of the 62nd edition of De Brabantse Fail, the men's race, following the women's race in this Flanders Classic season, the closing of the Flanders Classic season. And here's the course for the 62nd edition. And these highlights brought to you by me, Jez Cox. You can see the riders really all focused on those final three finishing circuits and the two cobble climbs each lap of our Brussels loop, just southwest of Brussels itself and the finish in Overijse, having started in Leuven. This was our early breakaway. There were three riders originally. In the end, there were just the two Belgian riders left out there, Ludovic Robet and uh, Aaron van Pucke. As they were caught and as we came into those closing circuits, we had the remnants, the making of our leading group here. Remco Evnepol ever present, as were Ineos Grenadiers. And the Ineos Grenadiers riders that were present in that front group at this stage, Magnus Sheffield, um, Ben Turner and Tom Pidcock. The presence of Remco Evnepol up there meant that one of the big pre-race favourites, Juliano Philippe, the world champion, couldn't really react to it. We then had a merging of groups and a big group reforming at the front end, but it was many of the same riders who would go on to form the final selection. Ben Turner and Ineos Grenadiers constantly attacking throughout, trying to make the race as hard as they possibly could. The 22-year-old Ben Turner, the British rider of Ineos Grenadiers, really, really impressive today. As was Victor Campanats doing his best to stay in that leading group, despite the fact that he was going through all sorts of hurt late on into the final 50k and Turner again attacking to try and stay clear. Remco Evnepol doing his best to maintain his status as the leading quick step alpha vinyl rider and uh, Victor Campenart still present at the front end of the race at this stage. We then had the formation of a very elite and select leading group that would go on to contest the finish. Included in there Benoit Cosnefoy, uh, Warren Bargui, the refreshed and revived Warren Bargui, those two Frenchmen right there. Remco Evnepol still there, Ben Turner, Tom Pidcock, and Magnus Sheffield, the American rider, also for the Ineos Grenadiers. All the while, we'd be dropping off riders from that leading group. Dylan Turns was very unlucky to have a front wheel puncture that took seemingly forever to change using a uh, traditional Allen key. Magnus Sheffield was the next of those to be testing the breakaway. And Benoit Cosnefoy, the Frenchman, after his second place at Amstel Gold, Still having the legs to close things down all the time. Every time up these uh, cobbled climbs, the two cobbled climbs on the finish, including the Moskostrat, Renko Evnepol looking like he was quite struggling on there, as was Warren Bargui, but both times those riders managing to work their ways back on. One rider who wouldn't, though, after a, a short while of doing so, uh, would be Victor Campenarts, just getting dropped uh, the last couple of times up the cobbled climbs of the Hertzstrat and the Muskestrat and not making his way back on. Remco Evnepol was testing the legs of all these riders. This group you're looking at right now though was the very, very final selection going into the last lap and with a lap to go, a nasty crash on the finishing line. I think thankfully all the riders up including Julien Alaphilippe, the world champion, colliding with cars, team cars who were making their way up to the breakaway once that lead had become just in excess of a minute. On the Hertzstrat and the Moskostrat, the last time again, it was the chance of Ineos Grenadiers to really test things. Magnus Sheffield doing it that time. And in the end, Sheffield going clear with Benoit Cosnefoy, but Sheffield all the while looking the freshest of those two. Cosnefoy always looking around, knowing how good his form was watching, assessing who is doing what in that leading group. There was the moment, you saw it right there, where Magnus Sheffield, the 19-year-old American, just eased his way, just squeezed his way off the front. Strength in numbers there meant that the others looked at each other. The uh, other two Ineos Grenadiers riders could sit in and just wait and watch. And the young American at the age of 19, taking a massive win. He'd already won at the Ruta del Sol earlier this year. But Magnus Sheffield, what a victory as a teenager in Rabon Sapel. Wow. American fans will be loving it, but fans around the world watching the emergence of a big star. Benoit Cosnefoy still having the form just a few days after that second place at Amstel to take second place here. And uh, Tim Wellens taking third, but I have to say, by the time we came to the podium, he had been moved down due to uh, a sprint infringement, as judged by our UCI judges and commissaires. And uh, come the final podium, Warren Bargui had been moved up to third. What a fantastic addition. In the wet, grippy and tough conditions in this week between Amstel and Paris-Roubaix. Will it be wet, I should say, for Roubaix?
on Sunday. Let's see. There was very little rain forecast today, but rain we had. I hope you enjoyed it, folks. Do join us for what's going to be a brilliant week in total here at the home of cycling on Eurosport GCN.